the sparkle gets me every time what's going on everybody welcome back so in this video me and my buddy logan went out on the river decided to take the day and just explore a bunch and try to find some topwater fish we really were hoping to get out super early we had a lot of crazy things happen early that morning but before we go any further and hop into this video you guys have probably noticed i've been wearing quite a bit of gill apparel lately bibs jackets sun hoodies and sun shirts like this they reached out to me a few months ago made me an offer to work with them for me i always need to test the gear out that i am going to be backing so i said i'll take a pair of bibs i'll test them out i'd love to do that and see how they are and they were very high quality i've been wearing them quite a bit since april so i fully back gill i think all of their gear is really really nice so i decided to move forward with the partnership and i am working with gill now and something kind of awesome for you guys they offered me to do a giveaway for you so they agreed to give away one of their fg 100j gill pro tournament jackets these things are freaking sweet super lightweight breathable and extremely waterproof now all you have to do to enter this giveaway to win this jacket is click the link to my Instagram down below, find the picture of me wearing this jacket and just leave a comment. It's gonna be up there for two weeks. I'm not gonna take the post down, but the contest is gonna run for two weeks. So anytime between now and July 26th, just leave a comment on that post. And on the 26th, I will use a random comment selector and pick a lucky winner. I'll post a video on the 27th and I'll announce who won the jacket. That's all you gotta do. Click the link down below, go follow my Instagram, comment on the post, and give Gil a follow as well. But let's get into the action, boys. Let's catch. I'm gonna do a little popper action. You hear that? Yeah. Where was that? Thank you, babe. Okay. Pop and frog. Sorry. He didn't have it all the way. First cast with the frog too. I didn't see it. It was gone. Yeah, he took it. He grabbed it by the skirt. Cool, cool. Hello. Little Texas rig fish. Real little. Black. Nine, nine oh, at least. I think he was pushing 10. Yeah. <laughs> nine, seven, nine, seven for sure. Yeah. Texas rig Magnum Black Trick Worm. Dragging it. I think around that. The pads, a frog and stuff like that's money. Yeah. Surprised we didn't get anything to come up on the top water around these cypress trees. Know, yeah. I'm gonna take us over there to those pads. There was more action in the pads than around the cypress trees and like hard cover. Mm -hmm. So let's go off of that for a minute. Yeah, there is one on there. I thought I was stuck in the pads, but he ate it when it fell. Feels good. Getting smaller. Is this a fish? Yeah, it's a fish. 
<laughs> oh, he's solid. Nice. What is? Oh, he's tagged. Oh, nice. I caught a tagged bass. Sweet. I guess white works. <laughs> I guess white is the color. <laughs> I think that one will work just fine as well. Dude, I didn't even have him hooked. What? It just threw his gill. Okay, cool. Supposed to release it with tag. Well, it's tag number 180. I just read that they tagged 650 bass throughout the river. It aims to estimate catch and release parameters and movement of largemouth bass in the Chickahominy and James Rivers. There we go. Number 180 likes white chatterbaits. <laughs> See ya. That was cool. Dude, that was so funny. I, ca I made a bad cast like over the pads, basically. And I reeled down to it. I was like, wait, that kind of feels like a fish. Leaned into it. Still didn't feel it moving. And then I saw like a big boil. Throwing a shad colored jackhammer right now. A little fluke on the back. First cast caught a fish. I think it's good. Did you get bit? Got him? Is he on there? No. Sure? Yeah. What was what did you get bit on? Big uh, paddle tail. Nice. I feel like there's no movement in the water up here. Weird. See some fish though. I think it's time to roll. Just about. Might be a little skinny getting back in here. I don't know if we'll make it, but I want to try. Oh. Oh. I just have it up to the boat, dude. How big was it? I have no idea. I just looked down and it bonked it. It's so weird. Did you? There we go. <laughs> oh my god, how did he throw the frog, man? I must have had it wrapped up all funky. That was a good two and a half, three pounder. <laughs> I did have a little bit of slack in my line when I set the hook. Dude, it's seven feet right here. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes, keep reeling. Nice. Get him in the boat. Hell yeah. Nice catch, dude. How sick was that? Choked. It. How cool is that? Right on the point. I know. Deep dude. in there. I thought Hell I was, yeah. I pulled it up to the top of that pad. Uh-huh. I was like, dude, is that? Oh, I was like, dum -dum -dum. Yeah. I was like, all right. Nope, that's a fish. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Awesome. Good fish, man. Sweet. Pounder. Pound and a quarter. Powder. Hey dude, that's all I was Dude, asking. you were like, I'll take a six inch yeah. bass right now. That's perfect. Thank you. Good catch. <laughs> Can I see that setup? Yeah. yeah. Thing's pretty interesting looking. It's like a slither rig. The Guggen. It's a uh, uh, chunk. chunk. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one to punch too, because you can put it up there and shake it. Awesome. Yeah, it's a uh, it's special looking but <laughs> it works finally. No, dude, that's finally perfect. something today. Nice catch. Oh yes. Punch and bite is on. Nice. Look at that. Logan's on a heater. Two and ten minutes. What's wrong with him? 
Oh, whoa. Something got a hold of him. Good stuff, dude. Second punching fish. I'm sitting down rigging one up right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, half of his dorsal fin is missing. It's like something took a giant chop, oh, chop yeah, out of him. Gar, I don't know. Yeah. Crazy. Nice catch. He was way up in there, too. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. You figured him out. They're just deep up in the pads. Yeah. Fishing like an outside pad line out on the main river. Was he, he was pretty deep in it, wasn't he? He was like 15 feet Yeah. I'm gonna try one of my favorite punching baits. Bruiser baits. It's called a crazy craw or something like that, but it's like made for punching. See how it has that little Oh, yeah. Lip on the back. These are awesome punching baits. Well, I might have to borrow one because this thing, this is the only rattling chunk I had, and it's, it's ours. So. Oh, I've got some more. You can use whichever ones you want. I think I've got, I don't have that color. You got some rattling chunks? Yeah, yeah. Oh, There we go, baby. God, I freaking love punching. He was like in the middle of that stuff. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's how you want to hook them just like that. Bruiser baits, punch and crawl. Yay. God, this is so much fun, dude. Got a pretty heavy weight on there too. It's, like a, it's an ounce or ounce and a quarter. Seems like once we got back here to that deep water, because we didn't get any bites on that upper stretch. No. Yeah. Do you hear that too? Yeah. The snapping is bluegill. They always say to like that's one of the key things to look out for to start punching is if you hear that under the pads. Look at them right there on the surface, sitting behind the pad. Those are little shad though. I'm good. I lost him and I broke my rod in the process. Broken. Well, I broke one of the guides out. Probably wrapped the uh, braid around it when I set the hook. Shoo! This bite has been weird. We've like gotten on a couple different baits and patterns and then it just turns off. Yep, it's strange. Go flip those trees up there. Oh, oh, you got one. Oh, that's a decent one. It's on my light Texas rig too. There we go. Woo! Sweet. Hello. You that's like the Texas pounder, rig? Pushing, pushing it. Decent one. Definitely decent. Sweet. He was up like in that patch. A good fish. Switched over to the lighter Texas rig with like 15 pound test. Kind of just working the edge here. Get him. Oh, dang. Maybe we found him. All right. Biggest fish of the day. Probably three and a half. Good looking fish. See you, bud. Hey, birdie. Seems like there's a lot going on in this line, too. Which is good. I should not be throwing this in here. Me neither. I got like 10 pounds on this. Do you? Oh, is that the shaky head? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> This is 15, so it's a little bit heavier, but I was, I mean, dude, it's, if you hook into something big, it's, it's gonna be a good fight, we'll put it that way. 
All right, we are at potentially the last spot of the day. We're switching it up. We've got some intel from Young Hunter. Fishing some cypress trees here. Tying on a frog, got a small or a light Texas rig, got a drop shot, got swim bait, chatter bait, popper. Gonna see if we can finish it off strong. What have we caught today? Seven? Seven, yeah, something like that. Nothing great, but not the worst either. You caught a few big ones. Yeah, caught a couple decent, decent fish. Happy about it. You know what they're gonna eat here? Freaking drop shot. I just feel like throwing a little old drop shot for a minute, confirming that they're here. There we go. Two pounder. Come here. Come on. Come on. Right side of that tree. Crushed it. Goodbye. Few fish on the drop shot today. Two thousand two. Nice. Way off, the, way off the bank. That's a really light color. He is super light. Strange. It's the same one I caught. <laughs> no. He might be right. He just, he just paled out real quick. <laughs> All right, just switched over to MM three. Whatever color that is. Robo worm. Somewhat similar to the morning dawn. It just has that brown belly. But I tried a what what did I a ringworm? I tried a 10,000 fish shimmer shad and I tried a plasma tail. For whatever reason they just seem to really like these robo worms. What did you think of that video, Moose? Was it pretty good? Is it okay? Logan and I had a lot of fun out there. We caught some fish. We didn't really have a super high expectation of anything. I'm still very new to the river. I'm learning it every time I go out. It's a lot of fun. I love fishing, you know, shallow cypress trees and lily pads and punching and throwing frogs. Learning a new place like that is super fun to me. Probably what I love most about fishing is just trying to break something down and figure out a pattern and get bites. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the link down in the description below for my Instagram and to win this awesome gill jacket. Moose, you wanna wear the jacket? You wanna put it on, bud? Maybe? You gonna comment on the post? What do you think? Are you gonna comment on my Instagram post? No? Okay. Well, if you guys wanna to try to win a Gill FG100J Pro Tournament jacket, click the link down in the description below for my Instagram, leave a comment, I'll pick a winner in two weeks. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel if you're not already subscribed. See you guys on the next one.